What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today is a full body athlete workout. I've already done my upper and lower body warm up, and now we're getting into plyometrics. Our first plyometric is a med ball slam to overhead toss. With our slam, we want to make sure we get full extension through our toes, elbows bent as the ball falls behind our head, and then drive through the core. For our overhead toss, we want to make sure we're using our glutes and a slight stretch in our hamstring, really activating that posterior chain. Superset it with our slam and toss is a 10 to 15 second run. Trying to hit top speed on the last five seconds. Really trying to make sure the body feels good. Get a good rhythm with your sprint. We're doing two sprints in between our plyometric slam and overhead toss. Three total sets, eight reps of a slam toss, two sprints in between each, so six total sprints. Like I said, today is a full body workout. So today's strength work is a full body movement. It's actually our front rack position, squat to press. I'm using 53 pound kettlebells here. You wanna squat all the way down, weight in your heels, drive through the glutes and quads, and then with a tight core, finish with a solid press overhead. With my presses, I like to push my head through and get my arms near my ears. This optimizes your body position, allows for a tight core, engaged glutes. After 10 reps of our squat press, we're going into 10 double kettlebell swings. Really focus on the posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes, and back. Guys, we have four sets, 10 each exercise, take two minutes rest in between. Now that our legs are feeling good, let's hit the upper body. We're half off the bench with a bottoms up kettlebell press. My down leg glute is extremely engaged, my core is tight, and my spine is on the edge of the bench. This is forcing me to balance and have really strong glute and core activation. Guys, if you watch my arm, it's full range of motion. I'm coming all the way down and I'm even pressing through. At the top of your press, really squeeze that pec and allow for a stable shoulder. Supersetted with that is our contralateral inverted row. Single arm rotation. We're pulling through our lat and shoulder maintaining a tight core and posterior chain and driving through the glute and hamstring with our down leg. Guys, this is a great movement to build overall rotational strength and body control. Four sets, eight each. Guys, we're gonna finish this full body workout out with three sets of 10 strict pull-ups. The key on the pull-ups is to pull with your lat and finish with your arms, guys. Wrap your thumb around that bar, have a strong grip, start the pull with your lats, full extension. We're also gonna do 10 dips, so we're supersetting our pull-ups with dips. Try to go below 90 degrees to help increase range of motion and really activate that chest. If you can't go under 90 degrees, that's fine, work with what you got. We're gonna finish with 10 reps of our cross body dumbbell swing and functional lunge. I'm using a 25 pound dumbbell here. Guys on our swing, drive through that glute. Really try to get that hamstring and glute firing. On our lunge, you wanna be well balanced, maintain a tight core and have good functional ability out of that lunge.